What's going on guys? So I'm following up on my most recent video which was mobile crypto mining for iOS uh, using mobile miner. The tutorial used Electronium but uh, there are a bunch of others and so I mentioned that briefly in the video but I decided I would go more into depth. So coin mining has been around for a while and they started out all mined on CPU but eventually people realized that they could mine them better with a GPU or they could actually mine them with specialized hardware. And so because of this, there's a few coins that are not even viable. Uh, you can't, there's no way you can mine them. So the computing power in the pool is just so high that you're never going to have any good earnings because of the power that you're putting into the pool versus the power that everyone else is putting in. So because of this, it's good to stick with coins that can be mined on CPU. And there are actually a bunch of coins like this. So the first thing we're going to do is pop onto CoinList. Um, this is CPU CoinList, but there's also other lists out there. And um, we're going to take a look at which coins still make sense to mine with a CPU. So this is CPU CoinList. It's CPUCoinList.com, and it's just a resource that I found helpful. It lists a bunch of coins that you can still mine viably using a CPU. And I have them sorted by GPU advantage. Now what this means is that the lower GPU advantage a coin has, the more even the playing field is between CPU computing power and GPU computing power. A GPU advantage of one means that in theory, you can mine just as efficiently with a strong CPU as you can with the same computing power in GPU. You can see that all the top coins are Kryptonite, which is actually what Electronium is. And it's just an algorithm which really favors uh, the CPU. The coin that I'm going to pick here to mine that is not Electronium is Bytecoin, and I kind of just picked it. I've heard about it, but it's also the Kryptonite coin, so we'll give it a shot and I'll show you what to do next. So before you actually mine any coin, you're going to want to check to see that it has a decent market cap. On what to mine, they actually give the market cap, and I just use it as a comparison, nothing absolute. But you can see some of these coins with incredibly small market cap, like 2 Bitcoin. Now that means it's new, it means that it could be worth a lot, it could be worth nothing. Bitcoin is at 819 Bitcoin, which anything in the several hundreds is pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is get a wallet. Uh, you're also going to need this address to transfer or to mine to later on in the process. Okay, so the wallet's open. That's synchronizing with the network, but that doesn't really matter right now. All we really care about is the wallet address. So that's that big long string of characters up there. If you copy that and paste it in somewhere safe, you're going to need it later. The next thing we're going to need to do is pick a mining pool. Uh, picking a mining pool is not something incredibly scientific. It's really just searching whatever coin you want mining pool and seeing what the reviews say, seeing what the uptime is, and picking something that you see supports a lot of coins and has favorable reviews. So on this one, I'm going to go with Minergate. Minergate is a really large platform. They offer their own mining software. They offer pools that you can join. And so we're going to go there. So this is Minergate.com. You'll want an account because it's how you track what you're mining and your mining power. Um, but in the supported miners near the FAQ, I think that's how I got to it, you'll see this CPU miner multi. Now, that's exactly what multi miner uses, and we actually forked that exact branch. And so there's this whole list. Uh, there's all these different settings, but you want the one that matches your coin. So in this case, I picked Bytecoin. That's going to be the BCN. And so the only thing that I really want out of there is that pool address, which starts with Stratum Plus and has the whole long list of characters. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into my notes along with the wallet address earlier so that I can get to it on my phone. Okay, so now I'm on my phone. Uh, these are where I pasted in the Bitcoin address along with the pool. And I actually made a burner account on Minergate just because I didn't want to share any of my real account info. So we're going to pop open Mobile Miner. We're going to go to Settings, Edit Configurations, and we're going to edit the configuration. So I already named this Bitcoin. First thing you're going to do is paste in your username. Now, if you're using Minergate, it ends up being your email, but for some pools, it's actually just your wallet address. The next thing we do is we're going to copy the pool URL, which was given to us by our pool, and we're going to paste it in there. We'll hit save, and then go back and leave the settings menu. And now on the home menu, we can see the active configurations includes our user and our pool URL. So I'm going to start mining here and open up the log. 
And this part I fast forwarded a lot because, again, like I mentioned, it takes a little bit of time to spool up. Um, but we can see that we're getting some hashes in there. 12 hash rate, not great. It's an old phone. But while we're doing that, we'll pop over and we'll look at our minor gate dashboard. Different pools have different dashboards. Some don't have dashboards at all. It's not necessarily a bad thing. So if you click dashboard, you need an account for this. You'll see your account status and it'll tell you, okay, you're actually mining this coin right now. Uh, you're doing 16 hash per second, a little bit more than the phone said, and your status is online. Uh, this is good because it, you can tell that everything's working. If you have just started this mining, it takes a little bit of time for this to kick in and synchronize, so it can take a few minutes, but if you've been mining for an hour or two and you still don't see anything, you're going to want to check that that's working right. And so I mentioned Miner Gate here, but there's a bunch of different pools. One of my favorite pools for other other cryptocurrencies is Nanopool. And you'll see that Nanopool actually supports Monero and Electronium, which are both Kryptonite algos. Uh, you can actually mine those with a CPU still. So just food for thought, just because I picked Minergate, that was kind of just an easy pick. Um, sort of demonstrated some of the things you might need to, do, need to do to set up a different a crypto and pool, but by no means is that the only pool you can use. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, the only thing I can stress is do a little bit of pool research because you might mine some coins, but you might never get them out. So make sure that the pool is active. Make sure you can get some good reviews and um, good luck. Happy mining.